Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss a very important question of, of the chapter simple harmonic motion. Let us read this question. If two SHM are represented by the equation y1 is equal to 10 sin 3 pi t plus pi by 4 and y2 is equal to 5 sin 3 pi t plus root 3 cos 3 pi t, then find the ratio of their amplitudes and phase difference between them. You see, in the first glance, it appears that the amplitude of y1 is 10 and amplitude of y2 is 5. But you please wait. You see, when we solve the question, then we will get a different answer. Let's proceed. So, here are the two equations given to us. The first equation is an SHM because it is of the form a sin omega t plus phi, 10 sin 3 pi t plus pi by 4. So, in the first SHM, the amplitude is of course 10 meters and 3 pi is the angular frequency, pi by 4 is the initial phase. But in the second one, you see, it is written as a linear combination of two different uh, sinusoidal functions. One is a sine function, other cos function, both having same frequency. So, what we need is that we need to convert this linear combination into a single sine function like this, sin omega t plus phi, not like this. Okay, So, let us learn how to convert this linear combination of sine and cos function into a single sine function. So, for this, let us learn some mathematical trick. Whenever you have a linear combination of sin theta and cos theta, let's say given by y is equal to a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta. Angles should be same, but the coefficients must, can be different. a and b constants can be different. And either plus or minus sign, both cases will have the same technique to solve the problem. So, here is the trick. First of all, we will multiply and divide this whole thing with root of a square plus b square and divide by root of a square plus b square, where a and b are the coefficients of sin theta and cos theta. Then, we keep one of the root a square plus b square from numerator outside and the denominator root a square plus b square will send inside the bracket and put it below a and below b. So, we are getting these uh, ratios, coefficients of sin theta and cos theta. Now, next thing, we have to imagine a right triangle like this. Let us say there is exists a right triangle, here angle 90 degree. And uh, the base angle, you can imagine any angle, it is a phi angle other than theta, okay, other than theta, some other angle, it is a phi angle. In this triangle, what you do, that uh, you assume the base to be A and the height to be B. So that uh, this hypotenuse would become root of a square plus b square. Now you see this uh, ratio a divided by root a square plus b square from this triangle can be seen as cos phi. Okay. You see cos phi in this triangle cos phi means base upon hypotenuse a upon root a square plus b square. In the same manner b divided by root a square plus b square will be opposite side by hypotenuse which is the sine of phi angle. Okay, sin phi. So, in place of this constant, we are writing cos phi and this constant replaced by sin phi. Then, after this, this bracket quantity can be just uh, rewritten as sin theta into cos phi plus minus cos theta into sin phi. Then, we recall that there exists a formula in maths that, uh, you know, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b. And uh, similarly, sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is sin a minus b. So, it can be converted into like this. So, now you see how a linear combination of two sine functions have been converted into a single sine function. So, ultimately, uh, at the outside we get root a square plus b square. So, therefore, we will say that the maximum value of this y or the amplitude of this SHM will be root of a square plus b square. So, whenever you have a linear combination SHM shown by this, then amplitude will be root of a square plus b square. Now, we apply the same technique here, you see. Uh, this bracket quantity over here, first of all, it can be written as 1 sin 3 pi t plus root 3 cos 3 pi t, such that it looks like this, a sin theta plus b cos theta. So, can we see here that this num 
1 is constant a, the coefficient of sin theta, and root 3 acts like the constant b, the coefficient of cos theta. So, what we need to do? We need to multiply and divide by root a square plus b square. So, what is the root a square plus b square here? So, root a square plus b square is equal to 1 square and plus root 3 square, which will be 4 under root 4 is equal to 2. That means in this equation, we need to multiply by 2 and divide by 2. So, multiply and divide by 2. So, when you multiply by 2, 2 into 5 become 10 and you divide by 2, that division goes under the denominators here. So, we get 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2. Now, we realize that uh, root 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 are the standard well-known values of some angles, 30 degree and 60 degree. So, can we write, can we write 1 by 2 as cos 60 and uh, for the same 60 degree angle, we can write on root 3 by 2 is sin 60. Then we see that uh, this can be rewritten as sin 3 pi 2 into cos 60 and plus uh, cos 3 pi 2 into sin 60. Once again, this looks like the formula of uh, sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. This is the formula sin A plus B is equal to sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. Therefore, this combination can be written as sine of 3 pi t plus 60 degree. So, finally, finally we have obtained y2 is equal to 10 sine 3 pi t plus pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 60 degree, just now we obtained on the previous page. And uh, y1, the first function was given as 10 sine 3 pi t plus pi by 4. So, now by looking at these two expressions, we can see that amplitude of the first SHM was 10 and amplitude of second SHM also comes out to be 10. Therefore, the question was asked to find the ratio of the amplitudes. So, ratio of amplitudes A1 by A2 is actually equal to 1 is to 1. Second thing in this question was asked, what is the phase difference between the two? You see, this argument of the sine function is called as a phase angle. That means for the first SHM y1, the phase angle is 3 pi t plus pi by 4 and for the second SHM, the phase angle is 3 pi t plus pi by 3. So, we just need to subtract these two angles to get the phase difference. So, initial phase angle pi 2 is pi by 3 for the, uh, uh, for the second case and initial phase angle phi 1 in the first SHM is pi by 4. So, the phase difference will be nothing but uh, the phase of the full phase angle of the uh, any one you can take okay let's say this one minus this we subtract so 3 pi t 3 pi t get cancelled and pi by 3 minus pi by 4 will be equal to pi by 12 so the phase difference between these two shms is pi by 12 and these are the final answers ratio amplitude is 1 and the phase difference is pi by 12 so, in the beginning, the question was presented in such a way that uh, it appeared that the ratio amplitude might be 10 upon 5, but ultimately it comes out to be 1 is to 1. So, whenever we have such question, first we need to convert the linear combination of sine and cos into a single sine function by multiplying and dividing by root of a square plus b square, where a and b are the coefficients of the sine and cos function. So, finally, I hope that you liked my video. Please press the like button and uh, please also give your comments and share it with your friends and classmates and colleagues. And please subscribe to my channel also. My channel is the Physics Group. Thank you to all of you.